On any other day, this would have been the lead of our show tonight. Is that important? Researchers is in Israel have just conducted what Bloomberg News described as, quote, the largest real-world analysis comparing natural immunity gained from an earlier infection of COVID to the protection provided by one of the most potent vaccines currently in use, end quote. So what did the researchers find in this unprecedented large study? They found that vaccinated people are 13 times as likely to be infected with COVID compared to people with natural immunity gained from previous COVID infections. Additionally, vaccinated people were 27 times more likely to be symptomatic with COVID as compared to people with natural immunity. So to the question, is natural immunity more effective than the vaccines? It seems that we have an extremely clear answer. Dr. Marty McCary is a Johns Hopkins University professor of public health. He joins us tonight. Doctor, thanks so much for coming on. This is something that you have suggested for an awfully long time, um, and it looks like now we have proof. Is that what we're looking at? Yeah, we've had these debates now for 19 months in the medical community, and as we're seeing vaccinated immunity wane over six months, it turns out natural immunity is about 19 months into this pandemic. It's effective, it's durable, and it's going strong. And I think a lot of public health officials have been afraid to acknowledge that because they're worried people will just go out there and get the infection and not the vaccine. Look, I want people to get the vaccine. If they're not immune, I think the vaccine saves lives. But let's be honest with people. The hesitancy with vaccination is because we've not been honest with things. We've not been honest about natural immunity. We've not been honest with the data. We should say complications from the vaccine. They happen, they occur, they're extremely rare, and it favors vaccination over natural immunity. But you got to acknowledge natural immunity is real. This study had 700,000 people in Israel. It affirms 14 other studies. And another one from Israel showed it was 6.7 times natural immunity was over vaccinated immunity. And the reason is you probably get more of an antibody response to the entire surface of the virus, not just the spike protein. And you get a cellular response, that is the B and T cell response, that may be more durable as well. So we can measure whether someone has natural immunity. We're not guessing about it. You can take a blood test. I've seen it. So why would, if it's more effective than the immunity conferred by the vaccines, why would we be mandating the vaccines on people who have more effective immunity already? That seems insane, I think would be one word for it. I, look, I think public health officials took an edict from the top and it was almost as if it was a political talking point that we need to get every American vaccinated and anything else that suggested otherwise, be it the data on natural immunity, it, uh, it was downplayed. And if you look at the CDC's own website on the chickenpox vaccine, they tell you not to get it if you had chicken pox in the past. It's the same immune system. It's just this immunity has been politicized with this talking point from a high look. The medical establishment had a hypothesis that natural immunity was not going to work. That was a bad hypothesis. It was wrong. The data has now shown that. And because of that, they've lost credibility and we lost the opportunity to ration the vaccine better if we would have told those with natural immunity to step aside when we were supply constrained. It's still a problem overseas. They look to the United States for medical leadership. We should be talking about natural immunity. Yeah, this is, this is too crazy. And it's, and it's crushing people's faith in the medical establishment and science itself. It has a massive cost in public trust. As you pointed out many times, Dr. Martin McCary, I appreciate you coming on tonight with Actual Science. Thank you. Thanks so much.